Mm-hmm. You want me to take us in then? Yeah, take us into this one. All right. I'm good, but take us in anyway. Interesting. Both teams, despite being like related, quote unquote, have taken very different approaches to this map. This is gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Winner's Bracket 3.207 Civil War Game 1 has now commenced. On the team 007, we have Montana, St. Vincent, Venezia, Napoli, Wooster, Shimakaze, Harugumo, another Shimakaze, and Ragnar. What is 07 fielding, Raptor? In the red, spawning to the south, 07 fielding a St. Vincent. Kremlin. They've taken a very different team comp build, though, here, Zath. We're mm. looking at Double Salem, Goliath, and Petro, fronted by Gearing, 12 kilometer Shimakaze, and Tunican's Ragnar, who we've seen quite a bit of up to this point in the event, and he certainly knows his way around that ship. Yeah. Yeah, first time seeing a the Goliath today. True. And the Salems, I find to be a very curious choice on this map. Once upon a time, again, with the old cap configuration of Sea of Fortune, they would have made total sense. Would have, I would have looked at that and gone, oh yeah, makes sense. But now, having that, that little short, as you like to call it, the T-Rex radar, Rawr. right? The little eight and a half kilometer, the little <laughs> eight and a half kilometer radar, you have to put that ship in very specific positions to get use out of that. Right. But for some odd reason, uh, teams are making it work today. If you if you know what you want to do with the ship and you know and you've practiced it or whatever, then you can absolutely make it work one hundred percent. I like one the, of the things. Uh, go ahead. I like the Ragnar standoff that's happening here at Ccap. Yeah, a little um, bit of hot rack. Well, I would not yet, but like potential mm -hmm. Ragnar and Ragnar action here across the Ccap. But right now, everyone's just sitting there. Right. And I also like how both teams are sending more than just one ship to the home cap. This is going to be interesting. Indeed. We're going to have, there's the potential for a bit more of a rumble than we saw last game on Sea of Fortune here. Double O bringing, well, they had four ships. It looks like Koi Fish is Napoli turning around, going back the other way. So they'll, we'll still be three on three over here. Mm. Two of those destroyers for at least double O. Right. Now, I noticed that both of the 007 Shimakazes are running the unique upgrade for maximum torpedo soup. And Indeed. SAT, though, is not running it in his Shimakaze. Hmm. There's our, there's our hot Ragnar and Ragnar action here at sea. Tuna can moves out a bit, trading shots with Eagle Lance. Both of them additional chip damage coming in from their, their respective teammates. Mm-hmm. John the Ruthless one now the things, coming under continued fire. Go ahead. I was going to say, one of the things that, that about Sea of Fortune, right, is that the map in the early, even even in certainly in the old configuration, but even in this new configuration, the map played fairly slow, mm -hmm. right? Because at least in the early stages of a game, because again, the, the caps were so close together. Um, and again, C and D remain very close together. You have to be very cautious and deliberate about what resources you're going to put into a cap circle because they're going to get shot at. Mm -hmm. But here, but now we're seeing, you know, a similar thing. In the off caps go quickly, but again, C and D tending to play a little slower. And then as the game develops and ship starts dying, I think the pace of these this map in particular accelerates very, very quickly. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Now we have Bolshi Mikaze's luck chucking torps. Uh, down the one-two line. Question: Will any of them hit? SAT will be fine. Don't. Yep, they don't even have the range to get to SAT, which means that his will never have the range to get to Big Six here. 
I say that. Uh, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so apparently SAT was much closer in when he fired those. I apologize. Yeah. But wow. Big Six dodges those handily. Narrowly, I should probably say. Right. Got some action going on at D as Oxymoron Salem has radar up. Not detecting anybody right now. Nope. They're going to push. They're going to let Mad Dog touch this cap. That's going to draw out Boy uh, Boy I Know Right's radar from the Wooster, I suspect. Yep. Eagle Land's coming off a bit worse for the way here. Again, the Ragnar standoff at sea continuing. There's the Wooster radar covering the decap. So Mad Dog spotted, but who's going to take shots at him, I wonder? I was just thinking that same thing. Here they come. Venezia, Venezia Salvo can't get over the island. Simply too much shell velocity there. Montana Salvo coming in. Not bad. Yeah. Even the Wooster's arcing over right there. Yep. Wooster can get those shells over. Napoli shells coming in. And now Mad Dog out of the radar. Out of the radar, but not out of the trouble. He nope. keeps going. Again, that, yeah, the Venezia position. That Sky's Venezia back over on the nine line. We saw Sky do just horrible mm -hmm. things earlier in the game with that Venezia. So we know he's capable of it. But that in that instance right there, not able to do it. Mad Dog now having to dodge these Shimakaze torpedoes. Oh, he's got a nice hand. man. He's good. Just got to learn how to adjust your speed. Six minutes in, each team ticking up a cap, but it's a very slow burn here. Nobody's even hit 300 points yet. No. All the action still fighting over D is Mad Dog now back into the cap, and they should not have a way to spot him. Is he outside of Eagle Lance's radar range? Yes, he is. Eagle Lance detected, detecting Tuna. So once again, we have the Spider Man meme going on at C Cap. That's right. Big Kremlin salvo going in on Eagle Lance right there. None of them landing. Yeah, but... Koi Fish's, Koi, Koi Fish's Napoli salvo hit home, though. I was just going to say, right, exactly. 007 having a little bit better focus fire on Tuna Can Sam there. Yeah. Overall, 00 is not trading health as well, but at the C cap, they absolutely are trading well, so we'll have to see if they can keep it up. At the moment, it's 07... Picking up the decap, starting to edge into the lead. Um, so now I'm gonna let's pull back for a minute here and look at board positions. That if you're yeah. if you're double O, if you're double O, the C cap, I won't say the C cap is a lost cause, but it feels like a lost cause to me. Mm -hmm. So let's presume for a minute that you're gonna write that off. Okay. What do you do? What's what's your play? What do you, what do you, what's your next move here? If I'm double O seven. If you're double O. Um, so here's the problem with double O's positioning, right? They've got the Venezia, they got the Wooster set up to basically prevent a push through D, but O7 doesn't need to push through D now. They got the cap. Nope. Uh, Ace Baby, by the way, taking a Shimakaze Torp, and, well, he'll be okay probably. Um, but anyway, so it's going to be really hard for double O7 to turn around. I think the only real thing they can try to do is. Kind of what you're seeing happening unfolding right now, which is you got to push your destroyers farther south over out west. You got to get that St. Vincent from Echo 1 to Golf 1. You got to get that, you know, get everybody kind of rotated around, threaten the home cap, so to speak, of 07, um, and try to bottle them up a little bit. Because I, I would agree, I think C is a lost cause for double O right now. Well, and I think it's even worse than that because for a while there, they were tra Eagle Lance was like coming out ahead in those trades, mm -hmm. but he took some focus fire. They pushed him. I think I think John put yeah John had put one of his Petro radars up. Up, they pushed Eagle way back off the cap. Took another five or six thousand HP off of him. Yep. And so now he's even less likely to get into C than he was before. Exactly. Now John is now uh, hydroing. As St. Vincent is coming under threat, takes a Torp Fever, takes a Torp up the butt there. Down to half health. Both St. Vincents are just being punching bags this round. Soaking up a lot of damage. Not really getting much in return out of them here. Nine minutes in. 07 on about a 70-ish point lead here in game one of this North American semifinal match. 
Torpedo's coming in on John the Ruthless. He's gonna take one on the face. He's, he's, yeah, he's gonna take one of those Herugumo Torps. Yeah. And he's gonna flood for a bit. No, he's not flooding. I apologize. I'm a little surprised they haven't pushed Tuna Can. They didn't take the opportunity to push Tuna Can into C while they had it. You know, they used that Petro Raider. They pushed Eagle way off the cap. Mm. They didn't pick up C. I think that was a missed opportunity. Well, I mean, if you think about it, too, with the amount of focus fire that Tuna's been taking, I think it makes sense not to risk him, um, you know, to, to go in again. That being said, he is currently walking, you know, kind of moonwalking into C right now, so... The thing is, Eagle's back. <laughs> well, Eagle's back. Eagle's out of heals, though. Whereas Tuna still has a health advantage plus another heal left. Right. But the cap ticks in this map are so slow that having a one cap advantage for many minutes now has only given 07 a 100-point lead here mm. as we cross over the halfway mark. That, that is a good point. John the Ruthless, by the way, coming under some uh, withering fire from Frysis Harugumo. And yeah. Battleship Cells coming in from the side. Yeah. Did so I feel like I feel like if if 07 really wants to turn the screws on these guys, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to get in to see. Mm -hmm. They're about to they're about to try it. Tuna can's gonna get in here. When the cap starts to move, Eagle's radar will come up. I'm guessing they'll use Eagle. There it is. Yep, there it is. So now Tuna spotted Eagle with no shots really. Hey John. Counter radar from the, John with the counter radar from the Petro. They can spot Eagle. And there goes so Tuna. A little drama here. A little drama here. A little bit of detection. Everybody pointing at each other. But I don't. I'm not sure we're going to see a tremendous amount of no damage result from this. All this radar trading. Nope. Both. Go ahead. No, I was just that, that that's it. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, I think I think I think both teams have just are just playing very very conservative games right now, Zach. Nobody wants to be the first one mm -mm. to make a mistake. Now, Viva in the St. Vincent is starting to make his push down on the western side. He's certainly trying. He's got a nice pretty shot at Peyton's Kremlin. Does he land anything out of these shells? Nope. Eh, decent hit. A couple yeah. of good pens, maybe. But that's if I'm if I'm FIBA, that's not exactly a fight I'm excited to pick. No. I mean St. Vincent is built to bully cruisers, not necessarily to bully battleships. That's right. Eagle Lance now under Tunican Sam's radar, forced in like deep into that island for cover. Still getting shot at from Oxymoron Salem, though. Yeah, taking a little bit of damage, but I think it's taken a while. 12 minutes or so, but I think 07 is finally going to pick up C here. They've finally managed to keep mm -hmm. Eagle lit and pushed back long enough that it's going to happen here. Oh, absolutely. Uh, there, there's no way Double O can respond to that. Ace, though, no. in the in the St. Vincent is quite low. He's healing now, printing a new ship. Akarona, yeah, the Shimakaze. That's a that's a law a ship loss for double O now. Mm. So the the lead the double the O seven lead grows. They're now up they're now taking up two caps and yeah. up a ship. Watch Mad Dog. And well, and watch K Bomb as well. Mad Dog's fine. K Bomb not. <laughs> K Bomb, I think, is probably gonna burn out here as soon as somebody shoots at him again. His next heal is twenty seconds away. He shouldn't survive to make it. And he doesn't. There he goes. All right. Well, now, if you're a 007, what do you do? Uh, you got it's time. It's it's time to make a play, Zath. I mean, if I'm 100% honest, it feels like they might should have pushed somewhere a while ago. At the same time, look at the board. Where would you have done it? Even if no one had died, where would you have pushed? I don't think I don't think there's a good spot. And I think that's a that's a testament to the positions and the lineup that 07 has put together on this map yep. because now they're down three ships it's just gonna it's only gonna get worse and now i'm pretty sure that 07 is is, is gonna win this game oh yeah uh fiva goes down the saint vincent both battleships for 007 are gone so it's just a question of uh who's gonna die next 
or do we sit for a minute and a half? Well, we're about to find out here. SAT and um, big big six, big uh, big six here are going to have a bit of a gunfight. Oh, that'll be fun. So let's, yeah, Shimakaze Shimakaze slap fight over here on the one line, Zaf. Each of them has a friend nearby. We'll see who uh, who comes out worse for the wear. My my expectation is that Big Six is going to lose this fight. Yeah, I think Dolphin is a little bit closer um, to SAT than who's in the Napoli there. Koi Fish Big Bond. Six does manage. Yep, Big Six does manage to go dark in the smoke. Do they get him with blind fire? Not yet. 127 no. HP in there. This is good though. This is what you do when you smoke. You don't just stop and reverse. You actually slow down and then you speed up as soon as mm -hmm. you get undetected. It makes it really difficult mm -hmm. to be seen and hit in that smoke. Battle ends in five oh, oh he's lit again briefly. Just long enough for them to catch shells on him. Frice goes down. Frice goes down. That's it. Three seconds to play. Oh, he lives. Oh, seven. Yep. The Shimikaze lives. But oh, seven. Slow, methodical, patient play here on Sea of Fortune does the job that's right well done to them um i oh god go ahead i was gonna i'm i'm, I'm sitting here looking back like if i'm 007 what would i have done differently and i'm not gonna lie zaf i don't know i think the I'd biggest have to really go the biggest problem that they had was that they were set up to kite one side and push the other they couldn't push the other the way they wanted to and the side that kited well, they weren't really set up to turn around and push back. I think that was their biggest problem. They're just not flexible. They couldn't react. Hmm. Hmm. Fair point. All right. Well, I'm sure that our, our couch analysts will have plenty to talk about after that game. Let's throw it back to them and see what they have to say. And clear. All, All right. right. Let's go find the other room. Senti, he says. Mm -hmm. AP knocks off Wu-Tang. All right. Interesting. Indeed. I think this is AP's first time, first trip to the semis. Hmm. All right. Northern waters, sleeping giant and tears. ESLR is green spawn for every single map. Okay. I don't see ship bands in here. Let me get that off of the off of the website here. 